sometimes I wish I had a real boat so I can just get on it and just sail away. I've been trying to finish this New Year's vlog for the last uh, two days. And every time I'm done and I think I'm finished, it's like something else is going on, something else happens. Happy Christmas, um, just finished my shift, it's Christmas morning, about 9, 9.30am. Even though I haven't slept here obviously since, well, all night. Um, as I always do every year, I feel, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a, it's a very unique feeling when you do the, uh, the volunteering thing. And uh, naturally it's not appropriate to do any filming there, uh, one because it would give the location away and uh, for security reasons and other things um, you can imagine and even though and I'm not saying this to uh, sound clever or sound like a good person it's just I really do every, every year when I do this as soon as I come out I feel really energized even though obviously I've been up all night and again I had a really fantastic evening um, this year there's, a, there's quite a few like elderly people. Um, I sat with this guy, uh, well let's call him Mr. P. Um, he was in his late 60s. Yeah, late 60s. Um, but even more so, um, I, uh, there's a lady called Anne who, uh, she was very distressed. Um, she actually just up and walked. Um, and me and another volunteer, Emma, had to kind of chase after her and, uh, and she got quite a bit down the road. Well, this lady is like even older than my own mum. Um, she was this, this very tiny little frail, frail woman who, uh, yeah, so I spent a couple of hours with her, managed to talk her, like managed to calm her down. Um, and convince her to come back um, so that felt really good um, and eventually we managed to get her to go to sleep um, I've just debriefed the day guys they're gonna they're gonna um, she's still sleeping so I did check on her before I left um, and they're gonna try to get her some help but she definitely I mean to think somebody who's older than my mum and um, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and just having nobody and not a home that's just that's, that's heartbreaking to me and uh, it's one of the reasons why I um, I love doing this every year and uh, sorry <coughs> I'm getting a bit emotional but um, I'm, I'm kind of lost for words but uh, Anyway, so like every year, I, I when I finish when I finish the shift, especially on Christmas Day, Christmas morning, I just even though I'm knackered and I haven't slept and I've been running around all night, um, I just feel really energized. I just need to go for like this big walk. I enjoy going for a walk anyway, but uh, yeah, I just fancy just fancy a big walk now. And I'm gonna have to walk anyway because there's no public transport so to get back home but uh, yeah just feeling really energized <sighs> I'll see where I end up and then I might take some some more videos and uh, show you what London is like on Christmas Day Have yourself a merry little Christmas let your heart be light from now on will be out of sight Have yourself a merry little Christmas Make the Yuletide gay From now on our troubles will be miles away Here we are as in olden days Happy Christmas 
guys well I am absolutely shattered um, I still gotta go all the way back there to Canary Wharf I think it's about time that I uh, go home and uh, get a bit of sleep get a bit of rest uh, get rested up for tonight um, I still got a few more nights to go so happy Christmas hope you're all having a wonderful time with your family and friends and uh, I'll see you all in 2017 I hope have yourself a merry little